So yeah. the, the all-cause mortality is also interesting because your study showed that, again, there was a dose-dependent effect where yeah. men that used the sauna two to three times a week had a 24% lower yep. all-cause mortality than men using it one time a week. Mm. And I believe it was uh, men u- using it four to seven times a week was a 40% lower yeah, it, all-cause Yeah, it mortality? was, yeah, yeah. yeah. 40%. Is, we are calling dose, des- dose response uh-huh. relation. Right, yeah. So you're getting ready to publish this, this, a paper was accepted that you're going to yeah. publish, which will probably be published yeah. by the time this video yeah. is published. So yeah. that's really exciting. So yeah, you it, found that sauna use is associated with lower uh, Alzheimer's disease and dementia. That yeah. is extremely interesting to me because, um, you know, of my interest in, in heat shock proteins. So the sauna, one of the most robust molecular mechanisms, um, you know, that happens upon heat stress. So when you heat stress the body, uh, what happens is you activate a signaling pathway called heat shock proteins. Mm. They play a very important role in um, maintaining the three, three-dimensional structure of a protein, which is important, obviously, for a protein's function, yeah. but it's also very important for uh, the half-life of a protein. Mm. And when the three-dimensional structure of a protein becomes um, misfolded because of damage that's occurring, you know, damage that damages our DNA, the same damage that does that damages proteins, you know, byproducts of normal metabolism, reactive oxygen species, byproducts of, you know, immune activation, these things are damaging our proteins, our DNA, our cells. But um, heat shock, so when those those proteins become damaged, they misfold and they, uh, they don't get degraded properly. So uh, when this happens in the in brain, you know, proteins can start to then aggregate and for, form these plaques, protein aggregates and plaques. Yeah, yeah. So probably the most um, well-known one is amyloid beta-42, yeah. which is associated yeah. with Alzheimer's yeah. disease. Yeah. But uh, interestingly, heat shock proteins, what their function is inside of uh, the cell is to actually repair a misfolded protein so that mm-hmm. it maintains its proper three-dimensional structure again. Yeah. Uh, so they're basically preventing the protein aggregation. And this has been shown in multiple studies in, in, in rodents, um, in lower organisms. There's been many, many studies, associated studies looking at heat shock proteins and neurodegenerative diseases. So there's a lot of interest in how heat shock proteins may be a therapeutic target for preventing neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's and also Parkinson's disease. Mm. And I've always thought, you know, the connection between knowing the sauna activates heat shock proteins i mean yeah. that's their name they they're they're you know they're activated under conditions of stress particularly heat stress yeah. um so i think that would be a very interesting thing to look at yeah. i think there are some interesting findings some acute changes after, after sauna single use, yeah single session in in yeah. vessel and vessel function oh wow and also heart rate and there is there's is actually quite there is gradual increase in heart rate during the sauna, single sauna session. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've noticed that yeah, myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah.